I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Tuesday January the 10th where we're having the feeder flash beaver clash I mean, you've been we've been talking about it for a month or more here and contrary to popular belief it is not a burlesque show uh, not that there's anything wrong with that but uh, I, I'm not sure why people thought that it might be but uh, just a feeder cattle special here in Beaver, Oklahoma at the Beaver County Stockyards. Looks like we're going to end up with around 6,000 head. Uh, that's, a, that's a lot of cattle for a... Uh, this is a regional market now. It's not just a country sale barn. It's been a regional market here for quite a while. Uh, but sitting in a very, very rural area. And I've told you guys many, many times before that uh, Beaver, Oklahoma sits in the middle of nowhere but it's not really that far to anywhere and uh, if you guys look at that you can definitely tell that we're going to have a, a good sale here probably have 50 loads of yearlings uh, a lot of them will be short type yearlings but they will be long long time weaned and turned back out a lot of really hard hard stalker type cattle if a guy just had somewhere to turn them out everybody's ran out of wheat uh, there's, there's nothing else for them to graze I uh, can't afford any kind of uh, commodity feed for them, and here they are. But a uh, lot of cattle showing up uh, all around, and uh, we're seeing big runs. Uh, of course, we always see big runs right after the first of the year. Oklahoma City had 17,500 head. That's about 1,000 more than they had the same sale a, a week earlier. Joplin had 12,000. Uh, that's nearly 1,000 more than they had the same sale uh, a week earlier but uh, you think well I thought we were out of cattle and it just reminds me of what my great grandpa told me uh, and he was in the cattle business over a hundred years ago he said the money will run out before the cattle do and that's not the last time you're gonna hear me say that even as we go into these uh, historically tight numbers of cattle but the money will run out before the cattle do because as long as, as there's somebody willing to pay enough uh, it'll pull cattle out of the bushes and we're seeing that it's pulling cattle out of the bushes I uh, realize once you put cattle in the feed yard and shut the gate and you don't have a lot of uh, uh, you know flexibility to pull those cattle back out but if they're in a growing yard situation uh, if they're anywhere else uh, you know a market will pull those cattle back uh, back out to uh, um, loose hands if somebody is willing to pay enough for them but uh, it's uh, it's really tight numbers around uh, I would say feed is probably tighter than uh, than the numbers of cattle of course uh, just just nothing to feed those cattle I mean if you got enough money you can but if you're in the, the business to make money feeding cattle like everybody is uh, how can you justify it and how can you justify some of the prices that they're given on these cattle but they still are. Uh, the board was up good to start the week out, which is always a good thing. February live cattle futures up 97 cents at 157.75. April's up 85 cents at 161.52. Your back months are all up 85 cents to up 117. And for once here of late, your live cattle futures showed more gain than your feeder cattle did and then that uh, that that shows a little strength there I, I trust so much more in your live cattle contract than I ever do your feeder cattle contract January feeder cattle were up 92 cents at 183.62 March was up 65 cents at 186.30 back months on feeder cattle up 47 cents to up a buck 10 your grains were moderately lower but not a whole lot Weighted average on last week's negotiated fed cattle uh, sales on a direct basis out of your five area feeding region totaled up to 56,200 head, which isn't terrible for a holiday week. Uh, I'd be glad when we quit talking about these holidays. Uh, you compared that to the previous week, which was a holiday week, they had 57,200 head, so about the same. Uh, about one good week happened during those two holiday weeks but you compare it to the same week a year ago it was only 40,100 head so bigger than that live sales steers and heifers last week uh, on a direct basis out of your five areas sold from 153 to 160 and a half and I told you that 153 was nothing it was one deal 478 head and no telling how much money went under the table uh, to get that deal done 
Uh, on the flip side, there was 4,800 head of cattle sold in the Northern Plains at 160 or better. That's pretty impressive right there. And I think the Southern Plains could expect to get closer to that 160 this week. But your weighted average on live steers for last week, 157.74. And that was actually seven cents lower than the previous uh, holiday week there because, uh, you know, we just uh, we saw the same market uh, in the Southern Plains of 157. Uh, that 153 sure didn't help uh, throwing that into your weighted average and just not enough cattle on the top side to get that any higher. Now dress sales were higher. Dress sales uh, ranged from 248 to 256. We hadn't seen that 256. It was mostly 252. But there was 120 head sold at 256 somewhere in the Northern Plains. Uh, brought your uh, dress steer weighted average up to 252.05. That was 61 cents higher than the previous week, so you can't say that the week was a bust. It was actually okay. Nationwide negotiated sales added up to be 73,700 head last week. Only about 23% of those were for the two to four week delivery. So uh, your packers are not being able to get cattle bought for, for near term uh, future delivery to set the market up for a fall. They're still short bought. They're definitely going to need cattle. Ask more for the cattle. Dig in. You'll eventually get it. 73,700 head pure negotiated. 49,700 head negotiated grid. 11,600 head of forward contracts. And 242,800 head of sweetheart formula deals. Box beef cutout values were higher to start the week out, which is good. The choice was up big. Up 3.15 at 2.86.14. Selects up 26 cents at 2.59.60. Slaughter was big. We're going to have a big slaughter this week and probably next too. But started out on Monday with estimated kill of 129,000, which is really really big. Coming to you from Beaver County Stockyards here, uh, recording this on Monday night as we've got a small crowd here. Uh, watching the championship game, which is not starting out too well if, uh, if you're a Big 12 fan like I am. But I uh, uh, hope you guys get on dvauction.com and watch the Feeder Flash Beaver Clash starting here. Uh, be going good by 9 o'clock uh, here in Beaver, Oklahoma uh, for, for a big run of about 6,000 head of uh, feeder cattle, maybe 200 cows. And that's going to be something that you're going to hear more and more as we go on. Uh, through the rest of this winter and going into spring. Uh, just going to be very, very few cows around people. How about uh, your feeder cattle market? Your real time index on DV auction based on an 800 pound steer up through your middle 12 states. Late in the day on Monday, sitting at 180.24. That was up 10 cents. So we've established that now. We've got enough head count in there now where it's not jumping all around, but up 10 cents from the end of last week. Talk about your big sales on Monday, and we had some really big ones. Oklahoma National Stockyards hadn't had a sale for two weeks. Had 17,500 head there compared to 16,300 last year for the same sale. But compared to two weeks ago, feeder steers were called steady to $4 higher with most of the gain seen on the heaviest weight steers. Feeder heifers won to $3 higher. Steer calves were steady. Heifer calves three to six dollars higher. Stick out sale on some feeder steers or some steer calves, excuse me. And Oklahoma City was national livestock sold 54 head of steer calves, weighed 512 pounds at two dollars and 24 cents a pound. How about Joplin Regional Stockyards? 12,000 head of cattle for their uh, second sale of the new year. They had a sale last week, but uh, 12,000 head compared to 11,300 head same week a year ago. But compared to just last week, steers sold two to five bucks higher. Heifers were about steady. Impressive stick out sale in Joplin was 60 head of steers weighed 871 at 176.85. Your Zoetta stick out sale of the day was Russell Livestock in Russell, Iowa. They had 4,700 head, which is a big sale for them. A uh, big sale for anybody, but uh, compared to just last week, they sold steady to $7 higher. This market's still on the upswing, guys. 
But you look at this automated market report from Russell Livestock in Russell, Iowa. You see your best tested weights, 886 out of five weight steer calves, average 551, the weighted average price of 207.87. 1,020 had a six weight steer calves, average 645, the weighted average price of 192.56. 528 had four weight heifer calves, average 463, weighted average price 178.84. 611 head of five weight heifers, average 557. Weighted average price on all of them, 177.85. And 523 head of six weight heifer calves, average 638. Weighted average price, 169.98. Give you a few individual quotes that impressed me from all around the region. How about Elgin Livestock Sales? My buddy Ted Baum there, they got a really good sale there in eastern Nebraska. 113 head, 713 pound steers, bring 196. Very impressive there. How about Tyna Livestock, Tyna, Missouri? That's uh, that's real rural there, uh, northwest Missouri. 59 steers weighed 907 at 178.85. But the best quote that I saw anywhere on Monday, most impressive quote, your Mackerson, no BS, top quote for the day. Come from my buddy Toby Myers. He's got the little market with the big prices at Sylvan Grove, Kansas. Sylvan Sales Commission sells 63 head of steers, weigh 872 for 188 and a quarter. And that's your feeder flash for Tuesday.